Hey everybody, QuestWise here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about this zine collection called Powered by the Dreamer. This is a collection of zines. Um, it's actually, it's it's just, it's a game, it's a full game system based on the power of the, Powered by the Apocalypse. Um, this is written by, it's actually written and illustrated by Egg Embry. Uh, this was a gift from him to me. Um, and uh, I, I didn't really know anything about this, but I'm super excited to have this. This is a extremely well done uh, game that's been produced in a zine type uh, format. Uh, it, it comes in four distinct parts. So if you don't know anything about Powered by the Apocalypse, it is a game that came out several years ago. Um, uh, the uh, initial game was called Apocalypse World, and uh, the game system itself, the rule system, was called Powered by the Apocalypse. It has it has an open gaming license sort of kind of thing uh, in that uh, you can take the rules of Powered by the Apocalypse and use them to create your own games. Some of the most notable ones were Apocalypse World, of course, Dungeon World, and Monster Hearts. Um, there's some uh, amazing other games out there too. And I'll put a link down below to where you can find a whole list of different Powered by the Apocalypse games. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Powered by the Dreamer. Uh, like I said, this was done in, in a zine type format. It comes into four, four distinct parts. So the first is the actual core book itself. Um, core book, core zine. Uh, it's, it's pretty thin. I don't know if there's any page numbers in this. No, not really. Pretty thin, uh, what you would expect from a zine, um, small format, um, wonderfully produced, uh, great artwork throughout the entire thing. Like I said, uh, authored and illustrated by Egg Embry. Apocalypse, Powered by the Apocalypse is a game. It's it, the rule system itself. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. You're rolling 2d6, at its core, you're rolling 2d6 adding any kind of bonuses or not, you know, uh, things that you might have. And it, it, it's very simple. You're, if you get, if you roll a 10 or more on your 2d6 plus your, plus or minus your bonuses and stuff, uh, you succeed. You get exactly what you were aiming to do. If you get a seven through nine, I think I'm saying this right, seven through nine, you, uh, you accomplish your goal, but something happens or some sort of complication, some kind of of kink in the works. Anything less than that, six or less, you, you fail. You just don't get what you're looking for. Something bad happens. That's kind of the core of Powered by the Apocalypse. The other thing that makes this game really unique is that instead of, instead of character sheets, you have uh, playbooks, which are character sheets that have all the information that you need, including um, your, in the game, you, you're making moves. You're doing basic, they're called moves. Um, they it would be like actions in another role-playing game, but they're sort of already played out for you and they're sort of broad in scope, uh, in their title. Um, and we'll get to that in a few minutes when I show you the playbooks, but the main part, the main zine itself is the rules and how this works now powered by the dreamer. What does this entail? So powered by the apocalypse is an apocalyptic role-playing game dungeon world. Uh, or yeah, Apocalypse World. Dungeon World is a fantasy-based game. Uh, Monster Hearts is sort of a teenage drama fighting you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer kind of a game. Powered by the Dreamer is influenced by things like Alice in Wonderland, um, Neil Gaiman's Sandman, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and my all-time favorite. And this hooked me. I, I, the, well, the very first pages I read what dreams may come with robin williams one of my all-time favorite movies i watch it over and over again and i cry every single time but it is a cinematic masterpiece it is this crazy sequence uh and i don't want to give too much away because i want you to go check it out what dreams may come with robin williams it is a a story about a man who dies and he's seeking his wife who who, who committed suicide and he's basically traveling across heaven and hell to try to find her and bring her back. It is an extremely beautiful, I'm already getting choked up. It is an extremely beautiful and an epic masterpiece. 
and and mind twisting craziness that you you have to go check out. When I saw that that was one of the inspirations for this, I, I was hooked. I, I instantly hooked. What you're doing in this game is you're playing a dreamer. You're playing somebody who's having or or, or, or you know has the ability to sort of interact and have control of their dreams. Um, so think of things like Nightmare. Let's use Nightmare on Elm Street as an example. If you wanted to run this as a horror type based thing, you have these people who, when they sleep, when they dream, they are being hunted by this crazy psychopath. Uh, and, but he can only affect them while they're sleeping. This allows you to do a lot of crazy stuff. It allows you to do things like that. You want to do a horror-based kind of thing. Uh, if you want to do what dreams may come and explore the afterlife. If you want to just uh, interact with dream sequences that are shared collectiveness between the players, you can do it in this game. It is a beautiful rendition of the Powered by the Apocalypse rules. Highly, highly recommend it. I, like I said, I, I'll put a link down below where you can find this over on DriveThruRPG. Um, again, uh, I'm an affiliate at drive through RPG, which means that, uh, when you purchase it, you get a great game that I recommend. You also, uh, help out the, um, the writer and designer, um, by, by giving them a little bit of money. It, 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 it pumps up their sales. Uh, and it gives me a little bit of money back as well, too, in the form of a credit on drive through RPG, which I turn into things like this that I can share with you. So main book, like I said, comes in four parts, I'm getting completely distracted by this because it's, I can't say enough great things about this. Um, it's such a powerful game in such a little package. Four parts of the main book. You get the playbooks, which are these pieces, uh, you know, character sheets um, that look a lot like, like this. Um, so you can see on here you have your moves, you have all your character data and everything. These are called playbooks. They're basically character sheets. You have the dreamer journal, which you can give to your players. This is all like a reference guide. This is very short. It's maybe like 10 pages or so. This is a reference guide for the players on moves and the game rules themselves. And then you have the dream journal, which is for the game master. Um, and again, same thing. It's a reference for the game master rather than, you know, digging through this to find a rule. These are all laid out in such a way. And on the back of this has a glossary of game terms. Very cool. If it, just very well constructed very well designed um, uh, version of the powered by the apocalypse type engine um yeah uh, check it out please do this is great uh support egg a little bit he's he's been a great friend of mine uh and i've never actually met him in real life but uh seems like a really uh great dude uh and, and an excellent game designer uh, and I, I didn't know. Um, and again, go check out, you know, if you want some reference material, read Neil Gaiman's Sandman. Beautiful story. Uh, crazy. Neil Gaiman's imagination is simply far and above different than anybody else on the planet. Uh, if you haven't read anything by him, uh, check out anything by him. I would suggest starting with Sandman. Uh, and it's just, it'll blow you away. Um, what dreams may come. I, again, separate sort of uh, recommendation. Uh, go check out What Dreams May Come. It's a movie starring Robin Williams. Um, it is it is funny. It is beautiful. It is it is heart wrenching. It's everything a great movie should be. And then come back, grab your copy of Power by the Dreamer, and explore your dreams. I'm Questwise, and until next time, stay safe. Game on, my friends.